Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. So in today's video, I want to talk about how to use Apple Mail to your benefit. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So the first one I want to talk about, and this one is actually a productivity hack, is when you have those notification badges showing up. I usually turn them off and that this one goes also for email. Um, actually, this one lets you open your email way too often than you should. So just turn them off and choose for yourself one moment in a day to answer all your emails. So let's say, for example, if you are someone who likes to answer this email in the morning, just reserve like an hour in the morning, answer all those emails, send all the emails you need to send, and then just don't look at it. That way you will be more productive during the day. You will not just go and check your email at every moment during the day. You don't need that, so turn that, that off. So how to turn this one off? Go to settings, scroll down to email, and that one's over here. Go to notifications and allow a notification. No, we don't want that. So now you will not get any notification unless you open your email. So also what we have noticed in here is that that notification badge is gone. We don't see the numbers of emails I need to go through uh, this day. And that's actually a little trick I wanted to show you just to not go and check your email at every moment during the day. So that's the first one. The second one is how to add multiple email accounts to just this mail, to the Apple mail. It's actually very easy. You can add your Gmail, your Outlook. Maybe you have a professional email um, and you want and you want to have all those emails in one place. Well, that's possible. How to do that? Just go and just go to settings, tap on accounts, and now you have all the accounts that are already on your email, and maybe you've just one. Uh, how to add another one? Easy, just hit add account, choose uh, your account provider. So maybe you have a Gmail uh, like I have, uh, hit Google, click continue. For example, I wanted to add the email address of this account. Um, just fill that in, fill in your password, hit next, hit save, and now all of a sudden your account is added. So let's check that out. And as you see, I've here um, my Outlook, my Gmail, and also this extra Gmail account I've just added to my to to the Apple Mail, which is actually very handy. I like to have all the things in one place. So if I so if I go and check my email, I'll just go and I'll just go and open Apple Mail, and all those emails are just sitting there waiting for me to open them up. So that's the second hack I wanted to talk about. The third, the third hack I really wanted to show you is how to use Siri to your advantage. So how to use Siri and ask her to send an email to anyone on in your contact. So let's say you're driving to your best friend and you have your phone attached to your phone car holder and you want to send them an email for whatever reason. Maybe he doesn't have message or WhatsApp or, or any phone for that matter. And you want to send them an email. So you can ask Siri to send an email for you and how to do that. Just by, ask, just by asking Siri to send an email for you. For example, hey Siri, send an email to Pinkman that I'm on my way. Okay, what would you like the email to say? I'm on my way. Okay, here's your email message to Pinkman. It says, I am on my way. Are you ready to send it? Yes, please. Okay, I'll send it. And just that way, Siri will send any email to your friends, to your colleagues, uh, to maybe you have an important appointment that you don't want to miss and you want to tell your the person who's waiting on you just that you are that you are stuck at traffic. I, I try to use it all the time. It's not intuitive as you might think, but try to use it. Don't use your phone and drive. Just 
just talk to Siri to that to do that for you. And maybe you don't have this feature on what to do. Just go to your settings once again. Uh, go to your email, hit Siri in search, and turn all these toggles on. And that way you can uh, send an email to your contact list. One more thing I want to add it. What, just one more thing I want to add to this uh, hack is that that email needs to be in your contact list. So for example, I've made an imaginary person, Pinkman from Jesse Pinkman, Breaking Bad, best show ever. Uh, and uh, you want to have the email of that person added uh, in your contact. So if you don't have that, just hit edit, go down to add an email and fill in the email of that person. Once you're done, just hit done. And that way that email is uh, added to your contact. And now you can just ask Siri to send an email to any one of your contact um, and tell her just to write a message for you. The fourth hack has to do with attaching a person to your email without letting other people know that that person is attached to uh, the email that you are about to send. So let's say you're sent something to your best friend. Let's call him Pinkman once again. And you want to CC that to someone else. Uh, you want to have him in the loop. Um, so let's fill in that, for example. And you want to have a third person. And this person will not be visible to these two persons. So Pinkman will see that I've added that to uh, the list of people who uh, receive the messages. But the BCC section is where you can add any person that will not be visible for, those, for these two persons. So let's say, for example, I add Dan, Dennis to it. Uh, and now Dennis will not be visible. So if I send any email, hello, guys, and I send it, now the first two persons will uh, see each other in the loop, but they will not see the third person in the list, which is Dennis for this example, which is actually very great. For some reason, you might want to add someone to your email without having the other know, without letting the other know that that person is added to your email. Just do that by um, adding him to the BCC list. The fifth hack I want to talk about is to add a signature to your emails. This one can be very handy because sometimes you, you are sending a lot of emails and you want you don't want to, to write this signature over and over again. So you just go to your mail once again, you scroll down, you hit signature and now you can add something like like kind regards uh, your name sent from my iPhone. Maybe you want to let people know that you have an iPhone for whatever reason and you keep that like that. So now every time I open a new email, this signature is added automatically to my email, which is very great because now you don't have to write it uh, every time again one when you are sending your emails. Well, this trick that I'm about to show you is also a productivity hack, and that has to do with the visible mailboxes on your list. So let's say, for example, you want to have this one visible on your list, the today's emails, um, and just let, and let's drag this one all the way up top. When you hit done, now all the unread emails are visible in here. So you know we have 12 emails to read through and maybe respond to. Uh, that way with just a glimpse, you, can kn you know how many emails you need to respond to and how many emails uh, that you need to have tackled on that day. So let's say, for example, some emails are not that important. You can just deselect them and if I go back, you can just deselect them by swiping to the left. Uh, this one is not actually a hack, but if you swipe to the left, you can whether archive it or you can delete it. Um, it's just how you have your options selected in here. But I assume many people know how to do that. Just go to your settings, uh, swipe options, 
When you swipe to the left, you just delete the message automatically. When you swipe to the right, you mark it as read. So if you opened, if you have opened an email and you don't want, and you want to read it again at a later moment, just mark it as unread. And now it's marked under you unread uh, box folder. Um, it says 77 emails that I need to go through. <laughs> In reality, uh, most emails are just spam. So I need to fix that for myself. And that's actually it guys. I hope you've got something out of this video. Email is something that you that we all use on a daily basis, but don't let it overwhelm you with the right tricks, with the right hacks. You can this monster that we've created for ourselves. Uh, like I said at the beginning of this video, just reserve one hour every single day or maybe a half hour every single day to just tackle all your emails and use the rest of the day to be more productive or to enjoy life with family and friends. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.